Here I am on R1. I'm going to go ahead and go to a global configuration mode. And I'm going to type in the command clock time zone PDT minus seven. I will then say clock summertime PDT recurring. And this will specify our daylight savings time. We'll then go to the privilege exec mode and type in clock set. I'm going to try to match the time locally here. 17, 20, which is 5, 20 p.m. 27 June, 2021. And that should be it. If I were to do show clock now, I should be able to see that it says it's 5.20 p.m. on my device and it's Sunday, June 27, 2021. So that's pretty cool. So now this gives our device a head start and it's now ready to be able to synchronize itself with the time.nest.gov. Here's the next step. We need to go to global configuration mode to do our NTP configuration. So far, we only set clock on our device. Now let's go ahead and start setting up NTP. So we'll type in IP name server 1.1.1.1, which is the Cloudflare server on the internet. But feel free to use Cisco OpenDNS or Google public DNS servers or any other DNS server of your choice. And then after that, you type in NTP server and then the name or the URL of the server, which in our case is time.nest.gov. Now, I'm going to get an error message here. And the reason is I'm unable to translate because my device is actually not connected to the Internet. I'm unable to contact the Cloudflare server on the Internet. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and specify an IP address. And I'm just going to pretend that the time.nist.gov translates to 209.1.2.24. I just totally made that up, but you get the point. If you actually had your router connected to internet and you were able to communicate with the DNS server, then the URL that I typed in earlier, you're going to be able to translate and you're not going to get an error message reason I got an error message is because I'm not connected to the internet in this lab. Okay. What you want to do next is you want to go ahead and specify this device as the NTP master with the stratum number of two. Now I could have chosen a stratum number of one, but I did two. This way, any other device in my network that wants to synchronize its time, it's, it's going to know that I'm not the actual internet time server. Instead, I'm a device that's one or two hops away from the internet time server, which accurately represents what's happening here. And then finally, we're done. So we're going to go back to the exec privilege mode, type in WR, which is the same as copy running config to startup config. It's the same thing. Okay, when you type in WR, it, it accomplishes the same goal as copying as copy running config to startup config. So at this point, we're secure. Our configuration has been written. Now what we need to do is we need to jump over to router 2. And on this device, we're going to specify an NTP server, which points to the NTP master. We're going to say NTP server 10.0.0.1. And that's it. We're also supposed to set up a clock, right? So let's go ahead and do, do that. We'll do clock time zone PDT negative seven. We'll then do clock summertime PDT recurring. That's good. We're going to go to privilege exec mode. We're going to type in clock set at this point. We're at 17, 28, zero, zero. And that should do it. If I were to do show clock, looks good. Let me go ahead and uh, do copy running config to startup config. And that's looking good. So now we have both devices configured. Now, one thing that I need to do is I actually need to enable these interfaces, right? 
So let's go ahead and uh, do that. Right now our devices are basically plain vanilla config. So I'm going to go ahead and type in IP address 172.16.1.1 and I'll do 252, no shot. I'll go to the other device on router 2 and uh, type in interface fast 00, IP address 172.16.1.2.255.255.252, no shot. And that should bring up our interface and that is good. We also need to create a loopback if you remember. So we'll do exit, we'll do interface, loopback zero, and we'll type in IP address 10.0.0.1, and we'll make that a host route, a slash 32. Okay, now let's go ahead and type in show IP interface brief. And I'm also gonna write my configuration at this point, our router 1 is configured properly. And let's go ahead and take a look at router 2. And it seems like it's also configured properly. We're going to write the config. We're going to do show IP interface brief just to make sure. Let's also try pinging the other device and make sure we can get to the other device. And sure enough, we can get there. So that's good. Now let's do show NTP status. That's a show command you want to run. As you can see, our clock right now is unsynchronized and our stratum is 16. So if you guys remember, as I alluded to earlier, when the stratum level is 16, that's mean it's unbelievable and no other device can learn NTP information from us. At this point, it may take upwards of 10 minutes to be able for the clocks to synchronize. I'm not going to sit there. Maybe we can come back and take a look at it at a later point, but should be good to go. I'll also do show NTP status and R1 to see what's going on here. Here it says our stratum level is two and we are indeed synchronized. So that is good. I like it. There's another command we can run here, show NTP associations. And that shows us who we are associated with, which happens to be the loop back on R1. And we can also look at show NTP status again to see if we have been able to synchronize. That hasn't happened yet. We're not gonna sweat. We're gonna wait on it and see what it does. Let's double check our clock. Our clock looks good. It's set to today. So that's excellent. That wraps up the NTP section. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.